Big ups, if you want big ups. I got some big ups for you. Now hit my music. What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Rob, the video game hoarder, here with another pickups video. Uh, stuff from Flea Market. Uh, I think one garage sale, actually, which I don't get to go too much, but uh, I had a Saturday off once, so, you know, a couple weeks ago, I think. It'll probably never happen again, but I did have that Saturday off, so. Uh, and uh, what else? Some thrift uh, pickups, too. So uh, let me go get them and figure out what we're doing here. Um, this is the garage sale pickup. Um, I pick up other stuff too, like figures, uh, comics, other things. I'm not just into video games. I mean, video games are probably the number one, but I pick up other stuff too. So, uh, these were just cool, and I, I don't know, I've never seen them before, and they're from the 80s, so, uh, I thought they'd be cool to pick up. Um, these Willow... Uh, figures. Uh, there's two of them. I think there's a set of five. So, uh, I've never seen them before. Uh, and, uh, they're made by Tonka. So, uh, whatever. Um, I thought that was a cool little pickup because, again, like I said, I've never seen them before. Um, and I'm always into sealed like, figures and stuff. Uh, these are two boxes, uh, nothing really, uh, great, um, but they're complete, um, they have the manuals and everything, uh, I don't know how to say this, Whaley Country Club, True Golf Classics, um, again, I'm a big, uh, uh collector into, uh, complete games, although, this is golf, so I don't know if I'm gonna actually keep that, this is another one, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'll keep, but, they're in really good shape, so, uh, uh, Rugrats Scavenger Hunt. Um, and, uh, he had, this guy had, like, just random stuff. I've bought from this guy before, and he said he's gonna have another sale, uh, sometime this past month, but I didn't see one, where he's gonna have more video game stuff. He just had mostly, like, handheld stuff and chargers and whatever. But he had a couple random games here and there, so I picked him up. Uh, Okami is always a nice one to pick up. I've never played this game. I think it's probably the second copy I've had. Uh, I think it's one on the Wii also. But uh, I've always heard great things about this game. Just never had the time to play it. And this is just a weird one. Um, I think I've seen this before. I might even have this. Um, oh, I never even saw this, but it's got a Sonic the Hedgehog uh, uh, manual inside it for whatever reason. But uh, maybe it's the Art of Alive uh, manual. So, uh, I guess I don't have to really tell you what the game is. <laughs> so, uh, Art Alive. Yeah, it looks really, really freaking weird. Um, the art depicted on the front and back of this package is great using Art Alive. Uh, yeah, so uh, you can do crap like that, apparently. So, uh, and uh, here, some of this too. So, uh, Hurry up and go get that, um, and put it in your Genesis, and, uh, become a great artist or something. Because, uh, yeah. I don't ever think I'm going to play that game, but <laughs> it's uh, a nice feature, I guess, for it. Um, alright. Random flea market stuff. Um, what do I got here? Rayman, uh, this is actually a virtual tennis case, and you're not going to see it because it's a glare, but it's Rayman 2 for the Dreamcast. Uh, he originally wanted three, and then he talked himself down to two, so, before I said anything, so I was like, uh, okay, so he took it for two. Um, Dr. Moto, which is sealed. I don't know, it's kind of a weird seal, so I'm not sure if this is 
resealed or maybe a store sealed or what. It just it feels kind of weird, you know? You can kind of tell sometimes with sealed games, but I gave it a shot for two bucks, uh, you know, whatever. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on a PS2, that was two bucks as well. And I think this was two dollars as well, I had a different one. Um, Wii Sports in a generic case, I just took this so I can give it to GameStop when uh, they have one of their trade-ins where they take like ten bucks for this for whatever reason. So, um, <sighs> this was from, uh, Buddy Jose, uh, he runs a, a table at, um, at the flea market, uh, has a lot of, uh, he's a reseller, so, you know, his prices are a little higher sometimes with some stuff, but he'll work out deals with you, so, uh, these are two PlayStation games I didn't have. This is funny, because I don't even remember Dynasty Warriors being... A fighting game. I remember it just being a hack slasher, um, you know, basically for every game that ever came out in that series, but uh, apparently it started off as a, a fighting game. Kind of like a, looks like a virtual fighter or kind of Soul Calibur type. So, um, and then uh, Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22, which I think I had uh, loose, but uh, I got it in a case. This one's a little scratched up, so I gotta see uh, if my copy's better. But um, he wanted 15 for this originally, seven for this. Um, with this being a little scratched up, he's like, you know what, dude, don't don't even pay for this. Just take it and give me 15 total for both. So I was like, all right. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, this was one guy had just a whole bunch of. Uh, basically accessories and he had a couple of crappy like xbox and uh i don't even think gamecube games uh original xbox games maybe um actually yeah so he wanted um i saw some other random stuff that um i liked on his table and I asked him how much uh this he wanted originally 10 bucks for i got him down to five uh it's not an actual official controller but it's a GameCube compatible controller so it's a uh, fake but for uh, five bucks I thought that was kind of cool and uh, this is another one that um, I, I wonder if it really works for uh, uh, my newest uh, the Xbox One um, this is from the original Xbox uh, Xbox Live 12 month subscription um, it's sealed uh, he didn't even know what it was. He's like, uh, what is that? I'm like, uh, oh, it's just a, a thing for Xbox Live to go on live. And he's like, uh, I don't know, five bucks? I'm like, um, sure. So this is the second year in a row I've gone garage selling or flea marketing or whatever you want to call it and gotten an Xbox Live for five bucks. So uh, definitely uh, check that out because uh, I don't feel like paying 40 to 60 bucks for it. When I'm, uh, all I use it for is uh, WWE Network and uh, Netflix, and I don't even think you need it for that anymore. So, um, this was in a box, a bin with Wii remotes and uh, the Wii condoms and other stupid accessories and uh, randomness. It was like metal, like, uh, I don't even know. Uh, uh, like screws and bolts and other stuff, and the guy's like, oh, yeah, I want 20 for that whole box. I'm like, dude, I don't want the whole box. I just want some of the game stuff. So there was two controllers, two N64 controllers. There was a green one, like a regular green one, and then there was this one. Uh, I think this is the watermelon color, So uh, which actually has a pretty tight um, metal thing, which is usually kind of loose on these, but... Uh, the other one, the green one, was kind of loose. Um, I wanted five bucks each for them. I didn't want to pay five bucks for the other one that was loose, so I paid five bucks for this. So I thought it was a really good deal for five bucks. Um, let's see, you go through. I picked, like I was talk, talking before, uh, besides figures, I also pick up comics sometimes. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm back and forth on collecting comics here and there, so, uh, this guy had a, a whole box, no, like, two or three boxes, I, I bought from this guy before, like, um, 
PlayStation 1 games that he had in his, uh, like, CD racks. So, um, I just picked up a couple random comics. Um, this one's actually kind of in crappy condition, but whatever for a buck, I can read it. Um, this is when, uh, they, were, they rebooted some Amazing Spider-Man. So, uh, Amazing Spider-Man number one. Uh, this was cool. Um, this is from the 80s. I don't think it's worth that much, but still cool to have. Uh, Nightcrawler, number one. Um, I remember this, this series. Uh, uh, I remember a Wolverine one, I think, that I really liked. So uh, I just picked this up because I was a big X-Men fan, especially uh, when I was growing up. So uh, I picked up What If uh, Phoenix Had Not Died. So it looks like uh, Cyclops might be dead, but uh, I don't know. So, and this is a comic I got originally a long time ago, uh, and I was so happy I got it. It was uh, a number one comic, and uh, but it had a gum stain. Like, I think by the top, by his name, um, I was so pissed off that it had that because it was like flawless otherwise. But uh, it was funny that I saw this in that box. So I was like, you know what, I gotta pick it up, and I think it's worth like I don't know, maybe fifteen bucks or whatever. It's the second series that he started up, so if the, he had the original one, that would have been really good. But So, Silver Surfer. So, I think the gum stain was actually kind of, like, by Galactus's eye or whatever. So, uh, here's the ad stuff. Some D&D &D stuff. So, that, those were actually pretty cool. But, um, alright. So, actually, oh yeah, uh, from that one guy. I think uh, maybe the week before, I picked up these two. Uh, random, like I said, always check the CD racks for like PlayStation 1 games. Even weird stuff like 3DO games I've found. Uh, CDI games. Uh, very random, but uh, PlayStation 1 games you find more often. Um, uh, X Games Pro Border by ESPN. So, again, crap game, but I need it for the, the run, so... And uh, this is a movie I've always heard of. Uh, in that. Okay, well, ESPN went down, apparently. But uh, this is a movie I've always heard about, always wanted to watch. Played the video game, which is awesome, and it's kind of pricey now. <laughs> Figured I'd finally watch this movie. Uh, picked it up for a buck from that guy, uh, The Warriors. So, I don't know if it's supposed to have a insert or not, but it doesn't. But again, for a dollar, I'm not going to go crazy. Um, so this is, uh, I picked this up from, uh, a thrift by me. They had a whole box of, uh, comics. I think they were like a buck each. No, a buck fifty? I don't know. Uh, something like that. A dollar, dollar fifty. Uh, some of the ones I grew up with, I remember some of these. I remember when this, uh, series was, uh, really good, really hot. Um, or the company was, anyway. So, uh, Valiant Company. Shadow Man Zero. All oh, those shiny covers. Man. Uh, these were cool because, uh, I just never had them. And I remember this is, uh, yeah, I never picked up these when I was younger, but, uh, these looked really cool. And, uh, the art style. I really like the art style. So, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's another one with a really bad Rocketeer thing on the back. <laughs> um, Rye Companion. Um, another Shadow Man, just because I thought it was the shiny cover was cool. Uh, Adventure Time Comics, number four of six. So I thought that was cool. I like Adventure Time. I think it's funny. Um, Young Avengers, number one. Uh, Dark Horse Comics, number one, with Predator, and then uh, Robocop on the back. This is Adventure Time, looks like number one of uh, six. Adventure Time, number five of six. And uh, this is Adventure Time number three of six. I'm missing number two. And uh, I 
think it was it. Maybe it was it six. And um, New Avengers number one. So again, I don't I don't even know why I picked these up, but I'm sorta of into comics, sorta of not into comics. So I, I go back and forth with that. Uh, I think this is the fifty off uh, thrift that I pick up from. Um, they they used to sell all their stuff on eBay. Now they actually put some of it out. They kind of list it by kind of eBay prices, or at least um. Sorry, I thought I heard somebody outside. Um, or close to it, so I usually don't go in there that often. I, I go in there just to see what they have sometimes, but um, but um, they had some good stuff for this uh, 50 off sale, so when I picked it up, um, to show you some of the stuff, uh, Sonic 3D Blast. Normally they want uh, actually it's upside down. Four ninety nine, so it'd be uh, two fifty. Um, Guilty Gear X X, the Midnight Carnival Reload, which is actually in Japanese, so I thought that was really cool. Um, they wanted nine ninety nine, so five bucks. Um, Thief for the three sixty, which I heard is pretty bad, but it's sealed. And nine ninety nine, so I got a five bucks. Uh, Assassin's Creed Unity, uh, also five bucks, limited edition. I don't know what's limited about it. Uh, this weird ass Sega Game Gear game I've never heard of, Crystal Warriors. I thought maybe it was like an RPG or something with wizards and shit, but uh, I have no idea. Uh, Pokemon Silver Edition, which is, looks a little raggedy, um, but uh, for five bucks, picked it up. Uh, this game, uh, I don't know, I don't know if I don't even know if you can beat it, if it's possible. This game put me through so much shit. Uh, Friday Thirteenth, I remember scaring the hell out of me too when you're walking in the cabin, all of a sudden this guy just comes out of nowhere and starts trying to kill you. So fifteen bucks normally, so. I don't want to pay 15 bucks. 750. Eh. So I paid it. Uh, and Super Mario All Stars, which I paid too much for. I mean, I think it's still worth more than this, but they normally want 35 for it, so I got it for 17.50. Uh, it looks like a a nice clean copy, as somebody would say. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Um, but uh. So that's why I picked it up. And now for a Facebook deal where somebody tried to screw me over. I guess I kind of screwed them over. And then they still wanted to sell me stuff like a week or two later. Which I was like, um, you tried to screw me over. Why the hell am I going to buy from you ever again? So let me tell the story. Um, I had a, uh, searching for games, um, ISO, in one of, uh, local Facebook groups, they answered, um, they said they had game, no, no, actually they had a post up, they had, uh, I, I, they had GameCube games, and a PlayStation 1 games, and, uh, some other stuff, so I wanted a PlayStation 1 games, um, I wanted, Three of the GameCube games, one including Super Mario Sunshine, and uh, I wanted uh, that was it. I, I said I wanted it for forty. They said they wanted fifty. I said throw in Super Mario DS, and I'll give you fifty. So we agreed. It was a pain in the ass to get in contact with these people. I don't know whatever phone number they gave me never worked. Um, they were trying to get a phone when I was getting with them, meeting up with them. Then they gave it a boyfriend's number. His number never worked. It was such a pain in the ass. But I finally hooked up with them. Um, and when I did hook up with them, all of a sudden, they couldn't find Super Mario Sunshine. They supposedly left it at the house. They'll meet me up tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, okay. We'll, we'll figure that out. 
and we're opening cases, and Super Mario DS doesn't have a DS game in it, so... He was like, yeah, I knew that, that we couldn't find, so I brought all these other games. Uh, you can choose one of them or whatever. Uh, they were all crap games, so I didn't really want any of them, but... I ended up taking all of them, actually, because uh, all that crap. But, um... So, here, let me show you the, the GameCube games that I did get. Uh, Army Men, Real-Time Strategy, and Battalion Wars. Uh, these are stupid DS games that I got, which I have no need for. Brain Age 2. Uh, this one's sealed still. Sega Casino. I'm sure it's sealed because it's fucking crap. And I just hit myself in the head with it instead of throwing it behind me. <laughs> Transformers Deceptions. I, you know what? I uh, forget it. I'm not even, even going to edit that out. Fuck it. Uh, Transformers Autobots and Super Mario, uh, which is freaking empty. So, um, but uh, that's fine. I can use the case. So I'll probably find a loose one somewhere. So, um, now for the PlayStation One games, the reason I kind of really wanted this deal. Uh, show you the games. Some of them I have, some of them I don't. I gotta go through them. Siphon Filter 2. I don't think I had that one. I don't think I had this one either. Mission Command, or Missile Command. Sorry. Uh, this one I know I had. Uh, it's missing a manual. Uh, Tom Torrey was supposed to hook me up with one. And he flaked. So, uh, I still need a manual. Uh, Torrey. Um, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Star Ocean. Actually, no, wait. This actually has the manual. Sorry. Wait, as I look through it. But I still have a copy that doesn't have manual, so I need one anyway. Thomas Story. Um, Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Uh, Gran Turismo 2. Uh, NASCAR 2000. I think I have this on Medal of Honor. Knockout Kings 2001, I think I have sure about this one. Mission Impossible. This one I know I have. 007, Tomorrow Never Dies. NASCAR 2001. What's funny is these PlayStation games are actually in really good shape. I mean, besides the cases on some of them, but... Uh, otherwise, they're in really good shape. Uh, sorry, I was looking outside again. <laughs> this is another DS game from before, sorry. Uh, another really crappy game. Clubhouse games. Um... I guess these are the, oh, I don't even know, NASCAR Heat, this is crap, uh, HBO Boxing, uh, this is one of the better ones that I wanted, and I saw in the picture, uh, Castlevania, Symphony of the Night, um, this is another one that I saw in the picture, it's gonna crack the case, but you can always change that out, um, Resident Evil 3, Nemesis, um, Dukes of Hazard, which I think is semi-decent, uh, price-wise. And, uh, this is the one that, uh, wasn't in the picture. I guess they threw in just because they had a bunch of PlayStation games and they were just getting rid of all of them. But, uh, it actually has some value. I didn't have it. And, uh, this puts the deal over the top for me. So, I'm actually okay with, uh, not having Super Mario Sunshine if I get this instead. Uh, Chiboko... I always, I, don't, I never know how to say this. Chiboko, Ch Chocobo, Chukobo Racing. The damn freaking little bird thing that you ride on in Final Fantasy games. Um, it's cool that they have little mod things and uh, some other uh, characters. It looks like a black mage almost in the background. So, um, looks like a Mario Kart type game, but, uh, so, yeah, so, and the funny thing is, I, I put an ISO, uh, like, a week later, and they contact me, and they're like, oh, yeah, we have a whole bunch of Wii games and PS2 games. I'm like, are you serious? Like, you try to screw me over on games, uh, because they never, they never called me, they never met up with me the next day for Samara Sunshine, so, and now that they're posting uh, GameCube games, they don't have it in the picture anymore, so, 
obviously they either kept it, sold it to somebody else, or, or did something with it. So I'm like, fuck you guys. I'm not I'm not doing business with you anymore. So um, that's it. Uh, this is actually a long-ass video, so I apologize. But it was a lot of pickups. Um, I think it's probably two weeks worth of stuff. So hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. And Rob is out. Thank you.